at the very end of farming that the practices for these GMO products they just sprayed at the end so that the pro uh, the crops will dry like a week faster so that they can you know push it to market. Yeah, so actually that's the non-GMO crops, which is really quite interesting because people oh, okay. think, oh, I'm buying GMO, oh. I'm buying non-GMO, <laughs> that's safe. That's what they're thinking, right? Oh, wow. As long as I look for that non-GMO label, I'm okay. That's not true. And in fact, the highest levels are showing up on non-GMO crops that are sprayed routinely right before harvest to kill them. So if it's GMO, it's got the protection, so you can't use it as in that way. Wow, okay. But, um, so yeah, I mean, it's an interesting... Um, point to make that it's the non-GMO crops that are sometimes the most dangerous. And in fact, a friend of mine, Tony Mitra, has been harassing his government in Canada for many years to get them to test different foods for glyphosate. Our government doesn't bother to test because it's perfectly safe. We know it's in there. We don't care. That's their attitude. Sure. He got Canada to do a big study where they tested thousands of different food samples for glyphosate, including Canadian grown foods, as well as imports from the U.S., from Europe, from Mexico. And, they, and, they, and he published a book called Poison Foods of North America based on their findings. It was quite interesting because he can, they, they consistently found much higher levels of glyphosate in food sourced from Canada or the United States compared to Europe. And interestingly, Mexico came up pretty much aligned with Europe. And also they found the highest levels um, is consistently in a uh, surprising uh, a family, which is the legumes, the chickpeas, the garbanzo beans, hummus, for example, extremely high levels of glyphosate. Those are sprayed right before harvest as a desiccant, as you said correctly. And um, the wheat is also in the oats and the barley. So you get a lot of glyphosate in oat-based uh, cookies and cereals, so like Cheerios and oatmeal. And then, for example, honey, there's been several papers on honey, uh, finding glyphosate in almost all the honey that you can test. But there was a, a paper that did a lot of uh, honey samples from various places, uh, certainly across the Americas, and even maybe Europe, too. I'm not, I don't remember. But the ones in the United States clearly showed up as the highest, you know, consistently the highest levels, even in the organic honeys. When we cook with, when we use oils for cooking, we use butter or mm. organic lard. Those are our two favorite oils, um, which is interesting because both of them, of course, have cholesterol, which is what people are always trying to avoid right. by, by switching over to vegetable oils. So I think the vegetable oils are definitely inferior, even in the absence of glyphosate considerations. But the seed oils, are, are many of them are sprayed with glyphosate right before harvest. So you've got the glyphosate in the, in the vegetable oils. You're right, probably more so than you would have in the animal-based Acetobacter is a very common microbe that shows up in fermented foods, and there are very few microbes that can metabolize glyphosate. It has a complicated CP bond that most, and uh, but acetobacter know how to. They have an enzyme that can break that CP bond, and can, therefore can turn glyphosate into a nutrient source mm -hmm. of of, um, of both energy and, and phosphorus and nitrogen. So it becomes a food to them, but it also clears the glyphosate from your body. So I find that really interesting, and I picked up on that, and I've been advocating either sauerkraut or any kind of fermented foods and um, apple cider vinegar in particular, um, because that's also got acetobacter. So oh, that's the interesting. recommendation that I have to people is to eat fermented foods for the reason that those microbes could be breaking down. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.